Hi there, I'm John Clendaniel. I'm a PhD candidate in archaeology at Harvard University, and I'm going to teach you how to make the basic components of an Inca quipu. So instead of writing, the Inca used a system of knots and cords to record information. And they were able to record everything from histories to songs to myths and accounting records on these devices. The basic structure of an Inca quipu is you have a primary cord, so this cord that's on the top uh, that I'm holding the quipu from, and from the primary cord you have suspended pendant cords, so these multicolored cords that I have coming down from the primary cord. And then from these pendant cords you could further have subsidiary cords, like this white one, hanging off of pendant cords. Now, each one of these cords can vary in ply and in color and with the knots that are tied onto it. All of these things are potentially significant factors that Inca quipu keepers would have been able to read and interpret. And modern scholars are working on deciphering as we speak. So over the course of this series of videos, I'm going to teach you how to make each one of these different signs and how we think they would have worked to signify information for the Inca.